Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Gardner, and this is just a short video to show you cautery artifact or electrosurgery artifact when, when surgeons or other doctors are using a bovi or an electrocautery device that puts current through tissue to cut or burn tissue. During surgery, it leaves an effect on the tissue. Sometimes that effect can be um, a clue to tell us where a cut has been made. Other times, though, it can cause distortion of the tissue and make it harder to interpret margins or lymph nodes, things like that. So it's an important thing for pathologists to know about. There's two different main features that you're going to see. Number one is when you're looking at uh, epithelial cells, like in this case, the epidermis. The nuclei of the epithelial cells get really stretched out. It's almost as though as the current runs through it, it pulls and stretches and distorts the nuclei. I don't know exactly how it happens, but it's basically cooking that tissue with the electrical um, current. And so you can see at the very uh, corner up here of the tissue, this, this green is the ink of the margin. This is a skin excision for a melanoma or something I can't remember. Um, the tissue is totally bubbly and destroyed. Over here, you can see the nuclei of the keratinocytes. They're round towards the very right of the picture. That's pretty much normal. And then here, they're like really thin and stretched out. So that's from the electrical current. And by the way, if you have a, a high voltage um, shock, um, you know, an electrical uh, current that that is an accidental burn, um, you know, like Sometimes in forensic pathology, a person dies because of a high voltage uh, shock and there's a burn on their skin. If you biopsy and sample that, you'll see this same exact thing. We don't often encounter that in my practice in Dermpath, but you'll see this uh, from current, whether it's from the cautery um, or electrosurgery device or from uh, an electrical burn from a current exposure accidentally. So that's one thing. The epithelium gets that stretched out streamy look. And then here, this is the thing I think people don't recognize as much. Look at the normal dermal collagen on the right. You can see individual reticular dermal collagen bundles with space between them. Here, they get totally swollen. They get more of a purpley color, smudgy, squished together. You can see blood vessels or sweat ducts in that. The cells with the nuclei are going to get stretched and streamed out. So that's uh, what you'll see when you get collagen that's being burned with electrocautery. So let's look at a few more pictures. Here's another example, the burning of the collagen on the left side here in the dermis. Here's a hair follicle that's stretched out and streamy from the cautery. And then the nuclei up here are stretched out and distorted. And a closer look at that. And you can see a closer view of the, the elongated nuclei in the epidermis. And look, I mean, they can be very, very destroyed. So, you know, I can't really tell. Could there be a melanoma cell in there or something like that? It becomes really hard to tell sometimes when there's a lot of burning. So it makes it harder to evaluate the very farthest extent of the margin when there's severe cautery artifact. And especially also when we're looking at sentinel nodes for melanoma or other tumors, if there's a lot of cautery in the node, it can make parts of the node totally um, unreadable to the pathologist. Here's a different case, and you can see here, this tissue is just totally bubbly and boiled, just completely congealed by the uh, the heat and the, ther the thermal injury and the, um, the, the current. And then you can see the epidermis shows those same streamed, elongated, distorted uh, nuclei from the cautery. And the collagen down here is burned as well. A closer look. And then from one other case, uh, this also is funny because it's cut tangentially. That's why we have all these little islands here. It's not cut straight down. The tissue is embedded at an angle. But the point is, is that the epidermis looks weird and funky, and that's because of the uh, electrical current. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. And that's the final picture for you. I have a couple clips for, that I've excerpted from another video I did, and you can see those if you want um, following this. We do have an excision. I think this was taken out by a surgeon. One clue is we can see this is cautery effect on the collagen. So you often see cautery in the epidermis and, and get, you know, quizzed about that, I think, where the nuclei of the epithelial cells stretch out and get elongated. But it's also important to recognize cautery in the collagen. You get these burned, destroyed edges, and then the collagen next to it is like blurred and smudgy compared to, you know, the nice crisp pink uh, normal collagen. So most of the dermatologists that I have worked with do not use cautery regularly to remove or, or a cautery a slash electrosurgery, bovi, whatever name you want, electrical current to cut. They may cauterize things after they've removed something, but I don't usually see any of this cautery um, or electrical current effect in things removed by dermatologists. So I do cheat a little bit, but when I see this, I know a surgeon probably removed this uh, or, or a non-dermatologist probably removed it, okay?
Then again, you can see cautery down here. There's cautery or electrosurgery artifact, the streamy stretched out keratinocyte nuclei, and this burning and smudging of the collagen. See how the collagen gets more lavender or purple kind of color compared to the bright pink it should be? That means it's been burned by electricity. So in, um, in any case, this is rhinophyma, 